Mad R Plus is a new model that is specifically made for rag and tool access while being extremely better than a lot of other models. In fact, better than GPT-4 and also with much lower cost while releasing this model as an open weight. So this is a brand new model with 128,000 context window and this is launched by the company called Cohere. So in this video, we're going to learn about this model and this model primarily has been focused and targeted at enterprise users even though that this model has been released as an open weight cc by nc license which means you can use this model for anything other than commercial purpose while also respecting Cohere's own license. This model specifically focuses on not just text generation and also how do you augment this large language model with external tools like internet and also how do you use this model for RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. These are the two primary use cases in a lot of organizations that they use large language models for and Cohere is rightfully targeting those users. So this model is called Command R+. And again, why R+, if you ask me, if you do not know that Cohere launched another model called R, and that model is already in the top 10 of uh, the LMSYS chatbot arena leaderboard. You can see here that this is the latest, like as of now I've opened it and it was updated on March 29th. And you can see here Command R is on the 10th position, sharing the same position with Mistral Medium and Claude 1. And this model was like, it created a lot of buzz because one, it was open, so open weight, not open completely resource, just open weight. And the other thing was this model was specifically targeted at RAG users, Retrieval Augmented Generation. So Cohere came up with this headline saying that if you want to use RAG in an enterprise setup, that should scale up use command R. Now what this new model is doing is this model is the successor of probably the big brother of command R. So this is a scalable LLM. That's what they're calling it. And what this model is doing is first, it has advanced RAG with citations. Like it can give you enough details to reduce hallucination. It's 128,000 token context window model. It has multilingual coverage. Out of box, it supports 10 languages, but the pre-training data has got 13 more languages, which we'll see shortly. And it also supports tool use to automate uh, certain business processes, like connecting with internet and other external tools that can help your LLM get geared up like with more external tools. So they have also done some comparisons and uh, very surprisingly, Cohere has got its own API platform while they have now partnered with Microsoft Azure. Can you keep Microsoft out of any product announcement in AI? I mean, like at this point, any blog post, any mo model, Microsoft has got a place in it. That's a different topic. In terms of the LLM performance in itself, you can see the pink color. Is this pink or purple? Let's go with pink. The pink color, the translation quality using blue, uh, you can see Cohere, Cohere's command R is better than you, uh, the Mr. Large model, but not better than GPT-4, okay? Um, we are not mostly using it for translation, uh, so I can understand that. And in terms of RAG, you can see GPT-4 is still better, but command R is uh, better than Mr. Large. And in terms of the success rate for tool use, this model is better than GPT-4 Turbo. And this is the comparison. But the main picture starts when you see LLM price. You can see that GPT-4 Turbo, the output charges uh, $30 uh, for X amount of tokens, while Cohere for the same thing charges $15. And for input tokens, uh, while GPT-4 Turbo charges $10, Cohere charges you only $3. So it is three times cheaper for input uh, or one third to be sp precise. And for output, it is half, like 50% cheaper when you compare it with GPT-4 Turbo. When you compare it with Mr. Large as well, which is another close model, this is uh, better. And so this, this is basically what Cohere's pitch is. You are a company, you want to do RAG, you want an LLM. You want an LLM that is, let's say, you don't want to mind about hosting. You don't want to have the headache of uh, running the ML ops. You want just an API endpoint. So Cohere is saying that you go to Cohere and then use the API endpoint or you go to Microsoft Azure and use the same API endpoint. And they're saying that this is one of the best models that you can have for multilingual pur uh, purpose. And I think I've said this time and time again on this channel that every market has got a second player position. You have Google and there has always been Bing or Yahoo when Yahoo existed. 
and uh, you have got other smartphone players you will see that the tail comes the tail wins but you always have a very strong second player in the llm world we have open ai but the second strong player is what all of them are competing for this is i'm not saying it uh, to disrespect cohere or any other company i think every company has a strong uh, impact and a strong opinion about open ai being the best and everybody else is like okay what other api service provider that i can use to fall back is it anthropic is it cohere or should i go with a service like together so that is where the second player position comes in i think cohere makes a really compelling case for people to use it and maybe people will actually use cohere as a drop in replacement for open ai i mean that would require a lot of a uh, lot of convincing at the c c suit like if you were to just tell people don't use open ai use cohere but i think for the second position cohere would make a really good solution and again you can see here um, uh, many other comparisons that they have done multi step reasoning with search tools especially for search multi step uh, reasoning you can see cohere is doing better in terms of the benchmarks there and you can see summarizations with citations cohere is doing good and their entire pitch if you see primarily cohere is targeting enterprise users and enterprise users with let's say multinational corporations with data text data that are in multiple languages and that's that's exactly why you would see a benchmark like this where they have got like french spanish german italian portuguese chinese korean and japanese and arabic and if you want to use the model like i said you can go to cohere's own platform and then start using it or it is also available on microsoft azure for you to use it but let's say you want to use it for research you don't want to do any of those things now enter the model available on hugging faces model up the model is already available on hugging faces model up with safe tensors file so you can use it if you have got enough compute and the way the model uh, comes with this the model also comes with a bunch of uh, tool related prompts so you can go see here so rendering tool use prompts you can see how when you ask a certain question like what's the biggest penguin in the world so it uh, you give a set of tools that are available here and then the the model understands that and then it gives you a response back so that you can make a call with this external tools so this makes it a complete ecosystem so that you have the llm and the tool those are like completely augmented so that is an interesting thing for me to try it out i have not tried it out yet this model is a heavy model it's a i think 104 billion parameter model it's a huge model so we need to figure out the compute that we need to run it but they have given the code for uh, the 4 4 bit precision and the 8 bit precision so even with lesser gpu you should be able to run this model and the model is available for you to directly download and run it for research purposes and if you want to just try out the model there are two different places you can go and try out the model one you can go to cohere's own website their own playground you have to just register then you can use it or if you don't want to do those things you are already let's say part of hugging faces uh, ecosystem then you can go to hugging face and there is a hugging face spaces where you can just try the model so you can just go here and then say write a joke about mr elon musk and send it to it and uh, ideally it's using the api to get you any answer back and i ask the same question their play playground write a joke about elon musk Why did Elon Musk buy Twitter? He wanted to turn it into a paper tweet platform, but then realized it was already won. I don't think the model probably has a lot of humor in it. Maybe it doesn't look like that. Can you make it more humorous? And then see if it can make it more humorous. Okay, he heard that birds of a feather tweet together, so he wanted to charge them rent, but he realized Twitter already had a nest of its egg of its own. Okay. it takes the same concept and then tries to give me something um, i didn't find it funny actually but uh, it it made me laugh this model has got it so what i did not understand is what the configuration in uh, the hugging face spaces and their own playground it looks like some different configuration i don't know if it is like the advanced parameters or temperature what made the difference so here write a joke about elon musk you get like a different um, um, like slightly more non corporatish answer but again these are the two places you can go play with the model i would strongly encourage you to play with the model and uh, try to see how it responds and uh, one thing that i'm really looking forward to try it out and i'm excited to try it out is how is this model good with external tools is it something that is part of the training process that they did or uh, like how did they come up about it and uh, that's something that i'm very interested in looking at and the model also even though it out of box supports 10 languages the pre training data has got russian polish turkish vietnamese dutch 
Czech, Indonesian, Ukrainian, Romanian, Greek, Hindi, Hebrew, Persian, other than the 10 languages that it confidently supports. So this is av their available part of pre-training data. So if, if ever, you know, there's a fine tuning option, this model should do better on these kind of fine tuning. Overall 128K model, um, 104 billion parameters, model supports extensively like really good rag and also it supports external tools. I think this is a great model to have and uh, I'm looking forward to see what kind of fine tuning comes out of this model. I hope this was uh, helpful to you and understanding the new launch by Cohere command R plus and also definitely go check out LMSYS. If you're not sure about LMSYS, I've made a separate video about LMSYS chatbot arena, which is one of the benchmarks I kind of trust at this point. See you in another video. Happy prompting.